I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Hussain Daud for uh, accepting this invitation to be the keynote speaker for today's event. Uh, this is the first memorial, Dr. Sansoy Murad Memorial uh, lecture series. And I was thinking of who to invite. And then the first name that came to my mind that was of Mr. Hussain Daud. And the reason for that was that uh, Dr. Hassan was a teacher of teachers. And Mr. Hussain Daud was someone who he learned a lot from. So I wanted to take his perspective and his ideas and uh, wanted him to share his you know, thoughts with the audience, with the deans, with the directors, with the UMT family, community, our friends and family. And indeed, it was extremely enlightening to hear his thoughts. And he speaks with such poise and calm. And it's, uh, you know, his, even his voice is very soothing to the ear. And you can listen to his ideas, uh, you know, the way he uh, talks. You can listen to it for us. Uh, so once again, I take this opportunity to extend my profound thanks to our keynote speaker, Mr. Hussain Daud. Um, for, his, for us, his leadership at the Daud Foundation, DH and Engro is a role model. These giant entities have left indelible marks upon the corporate sector of our country. We certainly benefited from the knowledge, experience and remarkable leadership of Mr. Daud. The relationship between Dr. Hassan and Mr. Daud has historic roots. That Dr. Hassan, as I mentioned before, was deeply inspired by him to the extent that you, he used to quote him in the workplace and often at our home. So we, you know, we knew, we acknowledged that Dr. Hassan, he, didn't, he wasn't impressed with a lot of people. But Mr. Hussain Daud was someone who he was greatly, greatly impressed by. So, <clears throat> Not only that, there's another uh, reason why, uh, you know, I asked, uh, requested Mr. Sandow to be the uh, inaugural speaker for the first uh, memorial, uh, Dr. Hassan Murad lecture. So Dr. Hassan only worked at one place as a full-time employee in his life. And it was DH and that was under Mr. Sandow's patronage and leadership. He was his only boss. That tells a lot about the relationship between Mr. Daud and Dr. Hassan. A remarkable anecdote, I was remembering this uh, a few days ago. Uh, Dr. Hassan told me that once his uh, contract, you know, of his employment contract was uh, about to finish, he, he requested Mr. Daud, he told him that if you want, I will work for you for one additional month without any remuneration. Because during my stay at your you know, organization, I may have sometimes you know, not worked to my fullest potential, or I may not have delivered you know, up to your expectations. So I will work with you for one month without any remuneration, just to make sure that you as my you know, boss are satisfied. So this you know, level of transparency honesty and God-fearing behavior is what we all need to include, adopt in our lives. Following in the footsteps of the great philanthropist, Mr. Daud, Dr. Hassan thought of establishing an institute that developed effective leaders and competent managers in all walks of life while ensuring the highest standards of quality. And even the idea for ILM Dr. Hassan used to tell me that he shared, he got this idea while he was working at DH and he thought, why not, you know, create an institute that develops future leaders and people who are extremely competent. They are, they have the skill and they have also have the knowledge. And he shared it with Mr. Hussain Daud initially and um, Mr. Hussain Daud from the inception supported this idea. And later he also joined our board. Today we see the results of his endeavor in UMT 
which is now one of the leading universities in Pakistan and through ILM fund, which is now Pakistan's largest scholarship program that has granted about 5 billion rupees in scholarships to around 13,000 students from across Pakistan. Today's event is not a glorification of the founder of an institution. It is a day of remembrance in the name of a man who formulated our scholastic parentage. It is a day to pledge allegiance to his ideals, humility, empathy, intellectual growth, service, and patriotism. We resolve that we will continue to emulate his vision in our quest for knowledge and social betterment. Again, I thank Hussein Daud for gracing the equation. In the end, we pray for our beloved Dr. Hassan. May Allah bless his soul and grant him the highest station in paradise. May Allah grant us wisdom to emulate his character in our thoughts and actions. Pakistan Zindabad.